Hi and welcome. Um, in this video, I want to show you how I am washing a fleece of wool. Um, so I bought a fleece of uh, Tess Water sheep wool. It's very curly and I got it straight off a farmer. Um, so that means it's not being washed. Well, most of the time it's not being washed when you buy wool like that. So I am showing you how I do this from the minute I'm opening the package, how it arrives and what I am doing with it to get it clean. So my name is Francisca. I live in Ireland and I have a felting studio where I run online courses and courses as well here in my studio itself. So what do we need? Well, first of all, I need a whole lot of wool or you will get a whole lot of wool locks when you are buying a full fleece from um, a farmer that has the particular kind of locks that you are after. So I bought a full fleece from a test water sheep. It's about, I think it's nearly three kilos in it. So there's a lot more than just that. I just have this much here to show you. So this is still dirty and I need to clean it. So for that I need a few buckets or basins with warm water and I prefer to wear some gloves especially at the beginning of cleaning it because it gets really muggy, dirty. I have a bit of um, washing powder. I prefer washing powder. You can try as well with washing up liquid but I prefer the washing powder or you can use just normal soap that goes works as well. Then in the end, I use some white wine vinegar. Um, a scissor might be handy. A few towels because it can get quite wet. And in the end, if you want, you can dye it if you don't want to leave it white. Um, there's loads of different dyes out there. The instructions are on the back, so just follow them. And in the end, I am having a nice fluffy washed um, test water sheep wool locks that I can use for whatever projects I'm going to do. So I hope you enjoy this uh, tutorial of how I clean it. So let's go. So you're probably wondering, what is this? So this is um, a package I got from a, a, a woman called Louise Croft and she has sheep and I often buy locks from her. And I just want to show you what I do when I get the wool and how, <clears throat> how I'm taking it apart and how I'm sorting it. So I thought the best way would be to show you from the very start when I open the parcel. So here we go. So this is Wensleydale wool. And this has been washed a little bit coming off the sheep but I still need to wash this some more So I have opened the bag, so it's just opened up there now. The, the bag was vacuum packed, so all the air is coming in now and it's just lifting the bag up. There's a lot of wool in here and I started to pull it out here a little bit. It usually comes in one section just as the wool has been sheared and ideally I would take out the whole wool to work with it but I don't really have time at the moment. I just want to show you um, how I 
usually do this but it's all it doesn't really matter it's all the same um just time wise now i'm not going to take it all out but what i do i take out sections And you can see it's all connected here. If I pull at this, the whole lot comes out. Uh, it's just the way the sheep has been sheared. It's all connected together. So you can see here, I have the lovely locks. And on the other side is really what was on the sheep's skin. So I'm not really that interested in that, this part here. Although it depends a little bit what you are intending to do with the locks. But for the moment, I want to tie those ends together. And that is my starting point then for cleaning the locks. So I'll start to gather them up just like this. And you can make those bundles as big or as small as you want to make them. A few more here. And if you cannot pull it, you just cut it because sometimes it's hard to just pull at it. And if you pull too much at the lock, sometimes I feel like you're nearly losing them. So you can see now up here is the wool that was, that is not as, well, I wouldn't call it not nice, but it's just that was the part that was on the sheep's skin, closer to the skin. And here I have the locks. So I have prepared a bit of wool here or twine or whatever you have handy and i'm just going to tie this together and i tie it fairly tight because i don't want to lose any of the wool so so i'm tying them all up like this the reason is i have a bit of twine here now so i can wash this easy enough on the warm soapy water just to give it a rinse because at the moment the wool is really if you could feel my hands they're full of the oil from the sheep from the wool it's really oily so that's what keeps the um that's what keeps insects away and also the rain water so it's very oily it's called lanoline a hard word I can never really say it properly properly but that's what it is and I want to get rid of it some of it um once this is done then I can dip it into my dye like that and I can actually just lift them out and hang them up on the string here but I'm going to show you this later so for the moment all I want to do is tie them up in bundles like this and then we do the next one. So gather up all them ends and tie them together. This is a beautiful fleece. It's very little dirt. There's a little bit here, but um, it's really, it's fairly clean. So if you ever intend to wash your own fleece, it's really nice because you can dye then the wool as well in a color that you want. So like that. I have the locks on one end. Gonna add some more here.
see now it's it's fairly dirty here I might actually do this one separate it's a bit of grass so if the wool is really dirty i make smaller bundles as well and separate it as good as i can and if i can take it out already of course i'll take it out so i'm gonna bundle this one and i'm going to bundle that one separately And this way, I'm going to work through the whole fleece till all is bundled up like that. So you can imagine it takes a bit of time and effort, but it's well worth the result. And once it's done, you know, this will last me for a long time now. So here I have a few bundles now that I tied securely together and I'm about to go and wash them. So I have a few um, basins, I have a bit of, I have three basins here with warm water and I'm going to add some um, washing powder into them. It's just normal washing powder. So the three buckets are ready and I'm going to wear gloves as well for doing this. And the simple reason is because they are dirty and it gets a, the water gets a little bit yucky. <laughs> so I prefer to wear um, some gloves. So just dissolving the soap, the washing powder. And I'm going to add the wool into it and usually what I do I just I dip it in and I just let it soak I am not going to move this around too much it's I want just to dirt to lift by itself at the moment so I'm going to soak this for about 15 20 minutes so as you can see after 20 minutes the dirt is starting to lift off and the, the water gets very gets cloudy gets dirty so i can take them out and squeeze them and i'm going to move them into the next bucket i have already added washing powder into this one and they're going into the next basin so this process i um repeat for as often as for as often as i have to to get the wool clean. Obviously, it depends in what state you have received the wool in the first place. Um, so sometimes you're luckier than other times the wool is reasonably clean and you don't have to um you don't have to empty the water too often. And I don't want to rub the wool too much. I don't want it to felt it. So I'm just usually just squeezing it out. So as you can see, I'm quite happy with this one already. The wool here that is near to the skin of the sheep, I am not too worried. 
it's still it's clean it's clean look and it's fine because i'm not really using this i cut this mostly just there on top so i'm happy enough with that so i'm giving this into my last bucket and once i have the locks actually soaked in the first one now unless they're really 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 dirty i'm just moving them on from one bucket to the next you'll know yourself when you wash them you know how dirty the water is wool in general is a clean product now this became a bit loose here i just see it must have fallen out so just not gonna pull too much on it wool is a very clean product it's um covered by by um oil called or fat called lanoline so that really protects the skin of the sheep so wool doesn't really get wet wet so that's why we have to soak it for a long time till the wool takes on the water so it's a pretty clean looking so this is my last bucket here now i'm happy enough with them now because of the lanoline in this in the wool it will always you will never get the water basically clear looking as such because there'll be a lot of the oil coming out constantly so i'm doing this as good as i can squeezing this out if you don't want to use washing powder you can use a soap as well it works just as good so i'm adding a bit of soap rub it and squeeze the wool so it becomes clean Just getting one more bucket. So this is clear water. There's no um, powder or soap in it. And I'm just adding here. Oh, blah. That's too much. <laughs> this just fell out. But anyway, it's done now. I'm not going to change it. Uh, I put a dash with too much of um, just very cheap vinegar into the water because I just want to neutralize the soap that's left in the wool. And I have all that done and the wool is now clean. So I can take this out. And what I do, I squeeze it really well. Get a towel. pat them dry a bit and then in general I just let them dry somewhere shake them up and 
and let them dry. So while they're still wet, the next step would be to color them. If you don't want to keep them in the white, the next step would be to color it. And I am using this Ashford wool dye. Um, I think it's coming from New Zealand. It's www.ashford.com dot co dot n set and the instructions are in the on the back if you ever want to dye wool now of course there's other brands out there as well that you can dye wool with that is the one i am using um, you can use you can try as well to dye wool with um onion skins um what's your beetroot turmeric makes a nice yellow so they're all natural ingredients that you can use as well. And it's actually quite fun to experiment around with it a little bit. But as far as this goes, I hope you enjoyed it. And that you will try yourself to wash your own wool. It is a lot of work, but the rewards is definitely worth the effort.